Now, your Storm Team 18 forecast. Weather from where you live. Well, tomorrow's going to be a warmer and it is going to be a little bit more humid. You know, we'll start the day in the 50s to uh, near 60 degrees with some patchy fog here and there. And then it's an 87 degree day in Greater Lafayette with highs generally 84 to as high as 90 in the area with kind of some hazy sun and a few clouds around with the heat index peaking at 85 to 93, 86 at Flora. We'll get up to about 84 in Logansport, mid 80s Monticello, and then there's your 88 at Fowler down to Boswell and Oxford and about 88 here from Attica all the way out to Stewart and Tab there in Warren County. Now on Thursday, a wave of some scattered showers and a few storms come through in the morning to midday. Then we get a break where we get a little sun to come out and it gets muggy and it gets breezy to windy. Winds pretty brisk out of the south southeast and an 84 degree high after only 68 in the morning. 81 to 87 should do it for highs. 81 Logansport to low 80s Monticello all the way out towards Wolcott and we'll get up to about 86 at Attica and those heat indices about mid 80s to low 90s given the rise in the humidity dew points rising into the low 70s. All right, we've got the severe weather risk Thursday evening, Thursday night, and now it appears more so perhaps into early, early Friday morning. The thinking here is that any severe weather risk would tend to be between about 10 p.m. and 4 a.m. That's based on brand new data that's arrived tonight. So you can see the slight risk west generally of US 231. The rest of the area is marginal. Marginal's a one out of five on the scale. And of course the slight's a two out of five. And the main threat would be a few severe gusts as some of these storms come in. We can see them on future cast right here. Again, we're fine tomorrow. You can see that that's three o'clock tomorrow afternoon. And then we cloud up tomorrow night. This is midnight and then we turn overcast and here are some of the showers and a couple thunderstorms coming in at 5 a.m. right through 7 o'clock in the morning and even 7.30, 8.30 in the morning up to 9. Some scattered showers and thunderstorms increasing and then those last right into late morning kind of tapering and weakening pretty rapidly towards midday. And then we get a few breaks in the clouds with some sunshine before we watch this coming in from the west. This is getting into uh, late, late Thursday evening, Thursday night, early Friday morning. And again, like I said, don't pay attention to the clock so much because I think this is a 10 p.m. to 4 a.m. kind of time frame. I think the model's a little too late, but you can see some of the storms coming in and those will pass through with that marginal to slight risk. And then we see a clearing sky for a while for a couple of these thunder showers pivot in on uh, Friday afternoon and Friday evening. So all that said, there's the rainfall Thursday morning. There's your break. There's some of the storms getting into the night and early Friday morning. There's the sun early Friday, a few spotty thunder showers afternoon and evening. Same thing Saturday and then Sunday's completely dry and also be aware of the fact that the smoke will be thickening up really Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, there'll be quite a bit of smoke here as more comes in from the northwest. Smoke aloft and a little bit near the ground as well. Rainfall about half an inch to an inch and a half expected on Thursday into Thursday night. And then we heat back up 90 by next Thursday.